Today I'm gonna to share with you the number one thing that I do in my skincare routine for anti-aging. Now, when I say that, I'm talking about the health of my skin. We're gonna set aside SPF. This is the topical that I think has the most impact on the aging and the health of my skin. Now, somebody's gonna say, because somebody always does, but Pen, you get laser treatments and you do in-office procedures and you've had surgery. You get Botox. Yes, I do. I have done all of that, but it is really, really important to distinguish the difference between things that you do once or twice a year or once a lifetime than the things that you do on a daily basis. There is absolutely nothing that you can do once that is going to replace the consistent application of good skincare in a routine. And here's an analogy for you. I don't think any of us would go get dental work done. Let's say we wanted to go and improve our teeth as far as, you know, cosmetically. We decided we're going to go and get our teeth done. As soon as that appointment is done and you look in the mirror and you love your smile, are you going to say to yourself, gosh, now I don't ever have to brush my teeth again and I'll never have to floss. Huh? No, of course you wouldn't. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So there's a big difference between the things that we do once or once in a lifetime or, you know, maybe twice a year and the things that we do on a consistent basis daily to maintain the health of our skin. Big, big difference. And they all are kind of a compilation of effect on the skin. You do not have to do any in-office procedures. You never have to have surgery. You do not have to get injectables. But I would argue that it's a very, very good idea to care for your skin on a really regular daily basis. Okay, so on that note, the number one thing that I do in my skincare routine that I think is the most anti-aging is DNA repair enzymes. If you're not familiar, DNA is basically the blueprint for everything in our body. I mean, every cell has DNA and that DNA dictates the workings of everything going on in our body. That DNA is constantly being attacked and being damaged. And also what is going on naturally in our body is a repair system, DNA repair system that goes in, it assesses, sees the damage, cuts it out of the DNA strand, gets rid of it, patches that up and moves on. That is happening constantly, naturally. And if that didn't happen constantly, naturally, then as an organism, we would quickly succumb to disease, cancer, etc., because our DNA is so constantly being attacked by damage. Now the number one aggressor of damage when it comes to our skin is UV. So it's the sun. We love the sun. The sun is the giver of life, but it is also damaging to our skin. Now, as the sun hits our skin, it is going to be damaging our DNA, but we have that natural system that is going in there and repairing that DNA and repairing that DNA. Damage is happening and repair is happening. Well, if there is something that we can do that can augment that system, that can help that system out topically, then let's do it. And that is DNA repair enzymes. A couple of years ago, I actually did a video with Dr. Daniel Roche. Dr. Daniel Roche is the aficionado when it comes to DNA repair enzymes. He is the guy that literally wrote the book on it. He has been working with and studying DNA repair enzymes for like 50 years, a very, very long time. And I had the opportunity to interview him on this channel. Now I've been referring people over to that video, but I thought for today's video, I'm going to play a few of his answers that I think are the most pertinent and the most impactful so that you don't have to go over there and watch that video after this video. The first question that I think was the most pressing was do DNA repair enzymes really work and how do they get into the skin? So I'm going to roll his answer to that question and then I'll be back on the other side. Well that was the trick that we invented uh, several years ago is to take the DNA repair enzymes and put them into a delivery vehicle which we call liposomes. These are lipid spheres and the lipids are carefully selected to be similar to skin lipids. And so they sort of stealthily get into the skin and are engineered to deliver the enzymes into the human cells of the skin. And one of the most remarkable discoveries uh, early on was it doesn't have to be human enzymes that stimulate human DNA repair. Uh, DNA is in all living things. And the remarkable finding is that enzymes from bacteria 
recognize human DNA and increase DNA repair in people. In fact, that was uh, discovered by the uh, Japanese in 1976. So one of the first remarkable findings is that DNA is DNA and enzymes from all kinds of sources can repair human DNA. So yes, they really do work and they get in using our liposome delivery vehicle. Let's listen to what he had to say about the different kinds of DNA repair enzymes and how much damage they can actually fix. So there are some enzymes which are activated by light. They're called photolyase and they work instantaneously. So if they're near DNA and they are absorb light, they repair very quickly. So there the issue is how fast can you get the enzymes into skin and absorb light. So the number is about 50%. So if you apply liposomes and put light on, you get about half the damage repaired instantaneously. There's another group of enzymes which stimulate the natural repair system. They take longer to work because they only stimulate the first step and they let the cell do the rest of the work. Uh, but there you can repair 75% of the damage and even more, but it takes about a day to repair the damage, but you don't need any light. So one system uses light and is instantaneous. The other system does not re require light, but it takes much longer, it takes about a day. Okay, and a huge question that I asked Dr. Yarosh was can DNA repair enzymes actually help prevent skin cancer? Well, I think the evidence is overwhelming that it does. Uh, first of all, we know when you don't have DNA repair enzymes, you have huge rates of skin cancer. So right away, there's a connection. And there have been several studies that have been done which show reductions in skin cancer in people who've been treated with DNA repair enzymes. First, there's studies in these people with xeroderma pigmentosum. And then there's also studies in people who get skin cancer. Because once they get skin cancer, they're at an enormous risk of getting a second. In fact, if you have one skin cancer, you have a 20% chance of getting another one in five years. So you, you like have a red flag, I grow skin cancers. Right. And when you treat those people with DNA repair enzymes, their rates of skin cancer go down. So certain groups which are very sensitive to skin cancer and sunlight, yes, we've demonstrated that they can reduce skin cancer. And there's also something called a precancer. Uh, the technical name is actinic keratosis or AKs. And those we now recognize can become skin cancers. So getting rid of precancers, which the enzymes have been shown to do, are even better than getting rid of the cancer. You get rid of the precursor before you ever get down the road. So I think if you look at the, at the clinical literature on, on treating people, that is pretty convincing that these can reduce precancers and cancers. A big question that I asked that is more aesthetic was, do DNA repair enzymes have an effect on, you know, collagen degradation because of damage or, you know, help to protect our elastin? Because, of course, in a perfect world, we're only worried about health and, you know, that kind of stuff. But I obviously also am interested in the beautification of our skin as well as the health of our skin. So I really wanted to know, so do DNA repair enzymes actually help with collagen breakdown? Do they help with protecting our elastin, that kind of thing? And this was his answer. Yes, well, they have a direct effect. So the first thing that happens when sun damages DNA is that it uh, lays the groundwork for skin cancer. But the cell responds with a wound healing response. It feels damaged and it feels wounded. So the, the skin responds with a number of responses. One is it increases pigmentation. It says, I want to block the sun. So you get uneven pigmentation in sites where you have DNA damage. And the other is a wound healing response where the cells produce enzymes that chew up the collagen. And that might seem like a stupid thing to do, but in the context of feeling wounded, the body responds by trimming away the area of damage and trying to rebuild the, the area. And these are called microscars. So sun damage is just this repeated cycle of damage, repair, damage, repair, damage, repair. The repair is never as good right. as the original situation. So over time, the collagen gets degraded, the elastin gets degraded, pigmentation builds up in places you don't want it. So yes, pigmentation, wrinkles, collagen are all a direct result of DNA damage. It's just these repeated cycles over time. Maybe not the first one, but the hundredth one or the two hundredth one 
then you start to see these skin effects. And finally, the last question that I am going to share with you, the last answer that I'm going to share with you today is can DNA repair enzymes repair old damage? This is a really big one and it's a super interesting answer. I'll play it for you now. Yeah, this is really a, a very important point and it's often misunderstood. So if you have damage and it persists in skin, yes, the enzymes will recognize it. But there's very little damage from the 20s, the actual DNA damage that's left over from your 20s. But what does happen is you have ongoing sun exposure. And that ongoing sun exposure has a lot of effects, including suppressing the immune system. So we know that UV suppresses the ability of the skin to mount an immune response, in particular to cancer cells. And so what happens is you have this damage when you're young, the damage has gone away, but you have these precancers and they're trying to fight their way out. And then when you add on top of that UV damage, which suppresses the immune system, it gives the cells a chance to grow. So this is why it's not always just what happened in your 20s, it's what happened last week because last week sunbathing can suppress your skin's immune system and allow the skin cancers to grow out. So yes, it can repair past damage, but most importantly, it can keep today's damage from letting past damage grow out. We see that in the studies in which people with precancers, those actinic keratoses, those AKs are treated. And what you see is they regress, they disappear. Why? Because by repairing the current DNA damage, you let the immune system take over and it then gets rid of the actinic keratosis. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little throwback to my interview with Dr. Daniel Roche. Really, it is one of the most impactful conversations I have had since being on YouTube. It affected the way that I organize my skincare routine. It affected the way that I look at this particular skincare ingredient. And it really does kind of impact the way that I make recommendations to you. So if you want to see the whole video, I will link it down in the description description box. I'm also going to link the paper that Dr. Yurosh co-wrote, the six critical questions of DNA repair enzymes and skincare. Really a fascinating read that you will learn so much. He's just a wealth of information. I am still thankful to this day for him taking the time to do that interview with me. I'm going to list and link all of my recommendations for DNA repair enzymes in the description box down below. I have several brands that I really do like and I prioritize the brands that offer a discount to my community because A, I love the brand and B, I understand that they are not not inexpensive and anytime I can get you a higher discount I will so always check down below because I am constantly asking brands to give me a better discount to offer to you and it's always going to be updated in the description box as well as there's a link in the description box to all of my discount codes for across all brands for all things and that is updated every single week with the best discounts that exist that I'm able to negotiate so always check there as well I hope you have a really fantastic day and I wish you great skin health take care